camping trip together with all my berry besties. I used to love sleeping under the stars in Berryville. It really is nice to get in touch with nature. Where's everybody else? <gasps> I feel a disturbance in the forest. <gasps> I love the smell of filter purified air in the morning. Wow, this is like a mansion on wheels in the woods. It's also not camping. Nope, it's better. It's glamping. The Extravagance Express has Wi-Fi, a solar generator, a rooftop bowling alley, and this. We're supposed to be roughing it! I'm walking in the dirt. What else do you want? Camping, glamping. As long as we're together, does it really matter? We can have both. Great idea! It'll be a contest. You set up your way, we set up our way, then we'll see what's best. No, no, that's... And whoever wins gets to decide how the rest of the weekend goes. Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Campers versus glampers. It is on! Oh, that really escalated quickly. The best way to keep the bugs off? How do you get rid of bugs, Blueberry? I just ask nicely. The best way to fish? Ah, I prefer to use Luxure Eats. They'll deliver anywhere. Sushi? Any berry? On! I think the best way to relax out here is with a little music. So relaxing. There! The best way to start the fire. Not quite the together with all my besties trip I was hoping for. So, it all comes down to dinner. Base Glamp has sweet potato stew, grilled shrimp, and lavender marshmallow fluff honeycomb for dessert. And what are the campers eating? We're having hot dogs. It's safe to say Base Glamp is the... What just happened? You've been running your RV all day, so it's out of juice. And that means... No fire, no massage chairs, no music, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> nope. Ah! Oh, help! 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 The campers are happy to share our fire with the glampers, as long as you all say camping is better. Fine, camping. <laughs> Never mind. <gasps> glampers and campers are all getting wet. Did you tray any berry? This camping and glamping trip is pretty great, even if we don't get to sleep under the stars. Oh, there's an app for that. Ooh. Technology. Ooh. <laughs> any berry have a phone charger? Uh, I think it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Custard. <laughs> Woo, what a crowd. <laughs> Hot cross buns. Jam wants Olali Berry Crisps for a VIP party I'm throwing. I reckon you're the perfect baker to do it. Thank you. I'm a bit particular, though. Citrus Island's lemon, brown sugar from Brown Sugar Beach, and Olali Berries might be out of season. It's just today's pretty busy, and to get the ingredients, I'll have to close my truck and... Oh, you can't close the truck. I forgot how inexperienced you are. If it's too much, I'll ask some berry No, 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 no. I can do it all. Oh, lovely. I need it in two hours. The twins can supervise. Twins? <gasps> Holy donuts! I'm on it. We will watch. It's both eyes. 
Who can I trust to shop so I can keep the truck open? Huck is making deliveries for raspberry. Orange is busy. Blueberry is blueberry. Hmm, who could I? Hey, maybe you can do it, Custard. <gasps> Amazing, you're a lifesaver. Citrus Island's lemon? No problem. Oh, darn tablet. <laughs> Citrus Island's lemon on the house. A lot of brown sugar, though. Sorbet company for me. Meow. <laughs> One young boy too, Lady Whiskerson. Meow. Here you are, Custard. Tick-tock, strawberry! I got your berries right here. If you got the right moves. I can't believe a cat beat me. <laughs> Tell Strawberry we say hi. It's really my fault, I guess. Expected too much. Just in time. I hope you like it. It looks just peachy. I thought she never left. She didn't. Well then, where did all those ingredients come from? <laughs> Nika! Amazing news! The Big Apple City Museum of Natural History is hosting a seminar tonight on the various strands of rock candy native to the Stone Fruit Mountains. A seminar on rocks? That sounds fascinating! I was hoping I could spend an evening of educational rocking and rolling with my little limestone. That would magma day. <laughs> <laughs> See you tonight! It's pretty adorable how much you and your papa have in common. Hello, my dearest daughter. I have the most stupendous news. Coco Lachelle is showing her new fashion collection tonight, and I have two tickets. As I'm quite chiffon of you, I was hoping we could attend together. Uh-huh. See you tonight. Why? How can you go to the rock seminar and the fashion show? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do? But Pat taught me to love learning, but Dad taught me to love fashion. I love both. No matter what I do, I'm letting one of them down. I can't make a decision. I'm really so confused. I don't like these options. Each choice means that I still lose. This or that, or those or these. Oh, I don't really know. I'm split right down the middle. Which way should I go? Any way you slice it, I miss out on something fun. Everything is ruined even before it's begun. Any way you slice it, the answer I can't see. I'm pulled in both directions, but both directions are me. I think I might go this way. No, wait, I think that's wrong. Go back and turn around now. I still can't find where I belong. Right or left, left or right or up or down. Each 
way is not quite right. I split right down the middle while both sides fight. Any way you slice it, I miss out on something fun. Everything is ruined even before it's begun. Any way you slice it, the answer I can't see. I'm pulled in both directions, but both directions are me. Choices, which one to take? Oh, it doesn't matter when each one is great. So whatever it is you do, oh, we all love each part of you. Cause any way you slice it, you can still you can have, all still have all the fun. Take your time and do it all before, before the day, the day is, done. is done. Any way you slice it, there's so much you can see. What are you doing here? I have a date with our daughter. What are you doing here? Actually, there's an exhibit at the Cuban Time Museum about the history of Big Apple City fashion. I was thinking maybe we could all go together. We can both spend the evening doing something we love. Exactly. History for you and fashion for you. No, Mika. <laughs> what we both love most is spending time as a family. Both of us together with you. That is one adorable family. <sighs> it is so nice to be able to bake in peace without having to worry about the peculiar purple. Hey there, Snortflake. Huh? Hello, fellow young people. Have you checked out that totally radical new spot across the street? The Peculiar Purple Pie Works. It's like totally trending. Why hang with old school bakers when you can buy from trend makers? Check this upside down muffin. It's hashtag fire emoji. Yeah, so that trendy. youth seems to know what's cool. Why is every berry leaving the berry works? <laughs> Everybody in my office, an emergency meeting! On second thought, back to the courtyard. Our customers left for the pie works. And with no customers, Crab Apple Jam will be upset. And if she's upset, she'll fire me. And if she fires me, my mother. <laughs> <clears throat> the pie works is popular because it's trendy. So, we have to be trendier. I've studied all the latest trends in market research. If we follow them, we can't fail. Wow! Are you sure? I've always just followed my gut, not trends. <laughs> and things have worked out pretty well for me in the past. The past isn't trending. The now is trending. <laughs> Scratch that. The future is trending. Okay, Truth Fairy, I don't think this is going to work. But Fred is our friend. And Strawberries aren't trending. Smoothies are so last week. What people want now are peanut butter sculptures of celebrities with salted caramel sauce. I'm sorry, what? Pet parades are huge on Tic Taco. March! The data shows attention spans are getting shorter by the second. Every berry needs to work triple. No, quadruple speed. We're not hitting the nostalgia trend yet. Strawberry! Wear this. Are you sure? I just think we should focus on something simple. We've got to go quintuple speed now! Cuter pet parade. Add mayonnaise to the sculpture! I'm sorry, what? Faster! Cuter! Where's the nostalgia? Hey, I know you're trying really, really hard, but I think it's time you listen to your gut. Classic looks are out. Robots are in. Bring me the cake and eater! A robot? Really? Ah! <laughs> How could the data be wrong? <laughs> 
What's that? That is my very fairy oven. Earlier, I asked my gut what today needed. And the answer? Sugar cookie twists. Sugar cookies are trending. Sugar cookies never trend. Are those sugar cookies? Mm. Mm. Sometimes to find the best treat for your gut, you've got to trust your gut. Come on back! I, I wrote a rap about how awesome the pie works is. I'm Peculiar P, and I'm here to say, eating purple treats is the coolest way to be cool. Um, boom, boom, boom. You know, some berries are just too focused on trends. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to my basement. Are you ready for the most epic, out of control slumber party you've ever slumbered? Honestly, your brains might melt. Lemon is very excited about her first big slumber party. It's really cute. Nothing can go wrong tonight. Everything has to be perfect. Lemon said, do your berry besties want some pizza bagels, chicken taquitos, jalapeno poppers? Dad! The Berry Works Best Baker don't want your frozen appetizers. I like pizza bagels. <sighs> Sorry about that. Nothing can prepare you for the night that lies ahead. Behold, the Slumber Party 99,537! Wow! Yes! They love it! <laughs> Is that machine supposed to be doing that? Okay, yeah, that's a no then. I've got this. Hold on. Ow! Oh. Where's that? Ow! Give me one. Oh, no. oh! You berries okay? That was a bigger explosion than we usually get. We're fine, Dad. I'll have the lights back on and Oh, the power's out across the entire city this time, kiddo. Guess we're <laughs> powerless to stop it. Seriously, Dad? You know, I used to throw some pretty epic slumber parties. I have a party finder with an entire chapter of games to play in the dark. Or if your vibe is... Our vibe is no dad's. Please. Vibe noted. This dad is here if you need him. Don't worry, I can fix this. We can still have fun. Lemon, none of us are worried. A game of human pretzel with the Lend a Hand 5000? Wrestling with the Hugmeister 3000? No, they need power. How about Blanket Fort 33,000? We can construct a multi-level blanket maze. Go, power needed! Okay, power is better. I can get this to work on batteries. I just need like 10,433 AA's. Maybe we leave the slumber party 9,011 something alone? Oh, you can all go home if you want to. What? Why would we want to go home? I don't know. Because my dad is embarrassing, my machine is destroyed, and I've basically ruined slumber parties for all time and existence. <laughs> Lemon, none of that stuff matters. We're here because we like you. You don't need to impress us. We're going to have fun together no matter what we do. Really? Totally. Besides, we kind of expect explosions at this point. And all the power in the city, I mean, that's impressive. Huh. It is, isn't it? So what should we do? You have any ideas? No, but I know some berry who wants tonight to go as well as you do. Dad! Uh, my friends and I were wondering if... I have the perfect game! My slumber party turned out perfect. Because my friends like me for me. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're it, Blueberry! Oh, got me! Flashlight tag is awesome! Oh, hey, power's back! Now we can do the other stuff you wanted. Nah, we're already having fun. <laughs> Ugh, you know it's hot when you don't need the oven to burn the cookies. 
We need cool ideas and we need them fast. We could think cool thoughts. Cool. No. Glaciers. In the sun. Hot. Melting. No! I brain fried my cool thoughts. You know, if I was back in Berryville, this would be the perfect day for a dip in the old watering hole. Watering hole? Does she know who she's talking to? Swimming does sound fantastic. Unfortunately, the only pool in the city is at the Upper Crest Social Club, and it's very exclusive. I bet on a day like today, they're gonna make an exception. <laughs> Especially if we ask really nicely. No. It's such a hot day. Don't you think you should open up the pool so every berry in the city can enjoy it? <laughs> the upper crust swimming pool is to be enjoyed by members only. But no berries even in the pool. They're not even wearing swimsuits. Their pool, their rules. It was a nice try, Shortcakes. Ooh, we are getting in there. Please, can you let my poor pet cool off in your pool? No. My friend wrote a song about sharing. No. <gasps> Propagate an exclusive use of a pool based purely on a capitalist system and forces an unfair class system, which is particularly unjust given the human rights. It's a disaster! Blueberry mousseline, raspberry gelée, and two, two berries on top. I can't believe Crab Apple Jam is throwing Benoffy's birthday bash right here in the greenhouse. I can't believe she asked us to make the cake. Is it too big? Crab Apple Jam said the bigger the better. What is she up to? What's the catch? No catch. Just good, honest baking. And Benoffy's gonna love it. <gasps> no, if she never sees it. Where did you two come from? The Cumin Time Museum, where Benoffy's birthday party is. Didn't you hear it's moved? Oh, however will you get such a big cake there in the next 20, 20 minutes? minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the catch. Don't you worry. Strawberry shortcake and raspberry tart know how important this is. I'm sure they won't let you down. Where are they? I cannot believe he moved the party and didn't do 
fast as a herd of turtles. But what exactly did you deliver? <laughs> this? Well, <clears throat> uh, this is... Um, so it's... Special a... delivery for Banabi! <gasps> oh, we figured you would appreciate a dramatic entrance. For Banafi, it's all about the presentation. <laughs> it wasn't hard to figure out what happened. They left layers of cake all over the city. Seems like you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. <laughs> when you have good brains, everything is a piece of cake. And big days need big treats. After all, can't watch Bite of the City without a Bite of the City. Get it? Because they look like the city. Why are you so excited? Crab Apple Jam is a guest judge on Bite of the City. A sweet country baker who moved to the city to make all her delicious dreams come true. Sound like any fairy you know? Apparently, she's making some big announcement. Kiki, I've done just about everything I dreamed when it comes to baking. So I said to myself, Crabapple, what's going to be your cherry on top? Well, I'm as pleased as a possum in a petunia patch to announce the new home for my bacon headquarters, the Big Apple Berry Works. Does this mean Crabapple Jam is taking over the Berry Works? I wonder if Fred knows. No! He knows. If I'm not Berry Works assistant manager anymore, if I can't boss berries around, then who am I? Yeah, he's broken. What does this mean for the Berry Works? Are we getting kicked out? Okay. Very calm down. I find that when I breathe deeply and take in the energy around me, I can see things through calmer eyes. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, Blueberry. <sighs> I think we should panic. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, it's gonna be fine. Crabapple Jam is one of the nicest bakers in the city, like me. She's got that country charm, like me. We'll talk to each other, country baker to country baker.
What does talking country baker even mean? Well, now, don't y'all look as depressed as a bunch of dolphins in the desert. What's wrong? Hi, Strawberry Shortcake. My friends are all as worried as a whale in a wheat field, but I said I knew you'd clear things right up. Oh, that's what it means. Of course y'all are worried after your experience with that rotten purple pie man. This is totally different. Am I running the berry works now? Yes, but I barely want to change a thing. Y'all have nothing to worry about. See? Nothing to worry about. Well, I'm heading up to the greenhouse, my new restaurant headquarters and gift shop. Cheese Strudel and Cherry Streusel will share the new guidelines with you. Who are you? Leave them, my friend! You take these. You read these. You live these. A few new rules aren't a big... Ah! No berry may sell the following without express permission from Crab Apple Jam. Baked goods? Drinks? Smoothies? Ice cream? That's an incredibly specific list. I see some no-nos! <laughs> okay, not what we were expecting. But I'm sure it's nothing we can't figure <laughs> out. <sighs> Crab Apple Jam's new rules are ruining the berry works. But I'm sure if I explain things to her nicely, she'll understand. I don't understand. Rules are rules. I can't have y'all selling the same goodies I do. That would be pretty bad for my business. But I'm not gonna have any problems from a sweet country berry like you, am I? Well, good. Glad we have this chat. <laughs> that my friend is a violent. I'm eating it, not selling it. Hmm. No. That is one weird berry. What's going on? Welcome to the Resistance. Sweet! How can I help? Well, we've got posters and we're planning a march, but I think we need something bigger. Any ideas? Hmm. If she won't let us sell what we usually do, we need to sell something different. <gasps> I love it, shortcakes! If none of us are allowed to sell our own treats, then all of us are gonna work together and sell something new! When you're lost and fall and stumble When the souffle's fall and all the cookies crumble Trust what we, we have to say We're gonna shake things up, it's time to save the day Sweet victory, stand up and fight, fight!
have we here? It's not a baked good, a smoothie, a drink, or an ice cream. It's all of them. So we're respecting your rules. And Barry seemed to love it. Well, isn't that clever of you? And it's so uh, popular. But maybe y'all should go back to selling the things you did before. Great. 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 Great.